off, just allow your avatar or your um, initial to be viewed by the screen. And what I've observed after this is our fourth one is typically the camera's only on people if they are speaking. So if you keep your camera on mute, you won't pop up in the uh, recording. And um, just kind of keep that in mind as we move forward. If you do not wish to be recorded, um, and this makes you uncomfortable in any way, you can definitely leave the chat and then you can watch the recording at a different um, time. I'm sorry, I may continue to have breaks in the presentation uh, simply because people are still trying to get into the chat and I have to let them in. So please bear with me. All of this information will be found on uh, Baldi's website, which is what I'm getting ready to show you at this time. So I'm going to do this and share this tab with you. Okay, so if you take a look at uh, my screen here, I'm at baldi.phillasd.org. This is our school's website. If you scroll down the page, you will see a section that says, welcome to sixth grade. And this section is specifically allocated for our incoming sixth grade students and their families. The first thing I wanna highlight for you is this section here where it says, check out the videos here. If you click this green here in all caps, you will be directed to a different launch page, which is just for you as incoming sixth grade students. If you scroll down to the bottom of that page, you will see a series of videos posted by myself, Mrs. Cummings, our uh, sixth grade counselor, and Mrs. Ryan, our dean of students. In these videos, we go over a lot of the information that we're going to be talking about today, but just in a little bit more detail. Also, it is important for you to know this launch page because as the uh, school year comes to an end, summer begins and we prepare for school in the fall, whatever that may look like, you will be able to find all of the necessary information as an incoming sixth grader on this website. So make sure that you visit the website frequently to make sure that you're up to date with a lot more information. We hope to post a series of videos for you as um, the time goes on so that you feel adequately prepared for your sixth grade year. All right, I'm going to come over here and stop presenting very quickly. And then say hi again. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we have about uh, close to 60 people in the chat. So welcome again, we're so excited to have you. We also have um, some of our sixth grade teachers here, which I'm so excited to see. So throughout the different portions of the presentation, there will be an opportunity for you all to ask questions. And when that opportunity comes, we're going to ask you to put your questions inside of the chat. I wanna take a second and make sure that everyone puts themselves on mute. Please make sure that you're muting your screens. I'm gonna do my best to try to mute folks, but please make sure that you're muting your screen um, at this time so we can kind of keep everything flowing very nicely. All right, so I'm going to begin uh, by saying that Mr. Hostetter sends his apologies. He is the proud principal of Baldy Middle School, and unfortunately, he was unable to make this particular meeting, but he does send his well wishes and his excitement about um, having the opportunity to have you all come to Baldy in the fall. So I'm going to do my best to do his presentation justice in sharing some information with you about Baldy Middle School. So I'm going to be sharing my screen again. And gonna be this Let's see here. Okay. Okay. All right. So this opening slide is very important because it really represents what Baldy is about, which is diversity. This particular slide represents some of the languages that we have spoken at our school, which is over 30 languages. We are a super diverse school and it's something that really is a point of pride for us because we welcome everyone with open arms and we really value everyone's backgrounds and experiences. That's what makes Baldy what it is and we're super excited to have our school community be what it is. We're very, very lucky. The next slide. This slide, um, our teachers probably see this and, and know that it's very familiar. We show this all the time because it represents what our mission is, our values, and our goals. And every year, we really try to make sure that we keep these as a priority, not only for our staff, but for our students as well. It's so important for us to maintain focus on what we value and what our mission is so that we can always provide 
um, excellence and strive for excellence as we go throughout the entire school year. This is our goal. This is our motto. So at Baldy, we really focus on empowering all students to be successful. We truly believe that 100% of our students should have the opportunity to go to the high school of their choice. Now, I know that you guys are only in fifth grade, but you are getting ready to go into middle school. And believe me when I tell you, it's a wonderful time, but it also goes so quickly. And before you know it, you will be thinking about the high school that you would like to go to. And what's so important for us is making sure that you grow academically and socially from sixth grade to seventh grade to eighth grade. So when it comes time for you to pick your high school of your choice, that you really have the options, that the sky is the limit. If you wanted to go to Central or Girls High or Masterman or Engineering and Science or any school that you wanted, they will want you as much as you want them. And we really start pushing that when you guys come in as sixth graders, because again, we really just strive to make sure that all of our students are successful. The next slide just shows um, our breakdown and some of our demographics. We really are a truly diverse school. We're also a very large school. We are the largest middle school in Philadelphia with over 1,500 students. And I know that number probably sounds really large, and it is. <laughs> but we really do a great job of making sure that each of our students feel welcome and feel special. And especially the sixth grade teachers um, and, and team members, they really work very hard to make sure that each of you have a person to come to, that all of your questions are answered, and that you really feel supported as you go throughout your sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade year. So this uh, image, please make sure you're muting your microphone. Please make sure you're muting your, your microphones for me. This um, this uh, demo, this uh, slide definitely represents our, our demographic as far as 20% of our students are English language learners. About 15% of our students do have special education needs. Um, and we really, if you look at the numbers on the side, uh, we had about 474 sixth graders in our uh, sixth grade class. So we do specialize in large numbers, but we definitely make sure that we provide that individualized um, education and attention. Next, you know, Baldy, I've talked about how diverse the school is, but it's not just diverse in our students, it's diverse in the things that we do and the ways in which we celebrate our students. The picture uh, on the steps represents a project that we did where we had our foyer redone and students and staff and families had the opportunity to paint tiles and uh, repave our foyer. And now our, our tiles are representative of the diversity and the love that we have for our school and we have different uh, presentations that we have, our multicultural assemblies, where we really try to highlight and focus on the talent and diversity of all of our students. So we really do do a lot. This is another point of pride. Uh, this year, Baldy uh, was recognized as a model school for our work from 2016 to 2019. We are also the number one middle school in the city. It's listed right there. You see our little ribbon that we have there. So we really, um, we, we're not just a neighborhood school. We really do pride ourselves on providing a great academic program and really growing our students exponentially, which you will see in upcoming slides as well. So another point of celebration is in 2018-19, Baldy was the number one student for mathematics and English language arts growth. Basically, this means we grow our students the farthest the fastest. And it's, it's not a race, but it does mean that we really pour into our students. And wherever you are, whatever needs that you have, we really take the opportunity to focus on them and provide you with supports that will make you an excellent student and, and make sure that you leave more informed and more educated than you came in. Other points of pride. We do a lot of different field trips. Um, our school is very large, so there will be times where we travel as an entire school to um, specific places, which uh, Mrs. Ryan may talk about later, but we really do trips as a grade. And even within those grades, there might be one class that goes somewhere. There may be certain sections that go somewhere, but we've gone to the Penn Museum, the sixth grade. One trip that's super exciting for me is the Rolling Thunder skating trip, which unfortunately we missed this year, but as soon as we get the opportunity to go back, I would love to. So we do a lot of different things. We go to the zoo, the Franklin Institute, we go to art exhibits and plays, and we really focus on getting our students out of the building so that you can have those additional life experiences that add to your educational experience. We also have a lot of fun at Baldy. 
Uh, the pictures that you see um, on the left are of our sixth grade fun day. We were able to get inflatables out. We had food. We had music. Um, we, we were able to celebrate, you know, for the full day. We did a lot of different creative things. We also have dances that occur each month. We try to do an activity to celebrate those students who are always doing the right thing. So we really try to incorporate fun as well um, as the academic balance into our school lives. We have tons of sports. I know many of you are sports players, athletes. You're really thinking about what you can do as you come into middle school. And let me tell you, we have tons and tons of sports. I don't even think that I could name them all, but we do have basketball and we have lacrosse and badminton and field hockey and golf, um, soccer, volleyball. We have so many different sports, you would not believe it. And we also have a gym program that won't start in the beginning of the school year, but it will start um, closer to maybe mid-September or however the school year is going to work this year, where you can be dropped off at 7.15 and you can go in and have gym and exercise time to be able to shoot around with basketball or, you know, uh, work on your field hockey, work on your lacrosse. You're just able to really have a, a nice time to wake up your body and exercise in the morning before the school day starts. When it comes to our sports, uh, we do have a lot of coaches that are our teachers, and we really make sure that we take great care of our student athletes. So if you are thinking about joining a sport, look forward to information coming from coaches as the school year goes on. We also pride ourselves on our partnerships. We partner with the Special Olympics. We also partner with um, Eat Right Now and the Philadelphia Eagles. We do a lot of different things to expand our Baldy community in order to make sure that we are increasing opportunities for you, our students. Um, we also have a great music program. I'm not sure how many of you currently play an instrument, but we do have instrumental music. We also have vocal music. We have choir, we have different after school clubs that are aligned to drama and singing and dancing. So we really try to make sure that we have something for everyone. This image represents another point of pride, which is our maker space. A few years ago, we turned our library into a state of the art maker space, which basically means that if you can dream it, you can make it. We have different uh, robotics tools. We have a 3D printer. We have um, sewing and there's crafting. There's so many different things, sketching, uh, doing um, the, ro the robots and the Legos. We have so many different things that you're able to do in this space and if you dream it you can do it uh we do have classes elective classes that are held in the maker space and as a sixth grade student you might have the opportunity to be scheduled into one of those classes out of your elective courses this year and if you don't you can always join a club where you have the opportunity to do some work in that space as well we also like to open up that space to our family and community members for different celebrations of cultural nights or um, just gatherings where we can keep in touch with our community members. This is another example of how we use our makerspace. We did a Bob Ross paint night. So we invited our family members in and they were able to uh, do some painting on some canvases. And it's, it's just a really nice space to kind of use not only academically, but socially as well. We are so excited to welcome you to our school community. This is uh, a sampling of our staff. We are so welcoming and so excited to have you and we look forward to working with you and your families throughout the school year. This includes the first portion of this presentation. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen at this time. If you have any questions based on the information that I just shared, now is the time to enter those questions into the chat. I know I did a lot of talking, so I'm gonna stop. <laughs> if you have any questions based on what I presented, please take the time to put them in the chat now. We'll do our best to answer them as best as possible. Thank you. Questions into the chat, you need to be on mute. You need to make sure that you have your screen muted and, and then you can type your question into the chat and then we will do our best to make sure that we answer it. Right now, we're only taking questions about the information that I just presented. And then once the other uh, uh, presenters share, you'll be able to ask them questions as well. So let's take a look at some of the things that we have here. We are going to be talking about transportation a little bit later in the presentation. If you could just hold on temporarily about the transportation questions. Uh, let's see. 
as far as um, classes and sections and what knowing and knowing what rooms you are going to be in, the way that operates is um, once everyone is registered, which Mrs. Ryan will talk a little bit about later on, you will be assigned to a homeroom. We have 16 homeroom sections in the sixth grade. And once you are assigned to those sections, you will be able to log into your um, school district account and you'll be able to look at your schedule to see what section you are in. And the section that you are in determines the teachers that you have and the classes that you have. School supply lists will be provided as the, the year goes on. Um, we will be putting that information on our Baldy page for incoming sixth graders. And additionally, your new sixth grade teachers will be sharing that information with you once you get to school. They'll let you know the specific things that you will need to um, be successful in their particular classrooms. Summer packets, there aren't any summer packets um, at this time, but we will be doing a summer reading. Um, our sixth grade ELA team is working very hard right now to come up with some wonderful assignments that are aligned to our summer reading books. All of that information will be coming out closer to the end of this school year. So please make sure you're checking back on our website frequently to make sure that you have the most up-to-date information. As far as knowing who your teachers are going to be on the first day, we do have a system in place where everyone will know uh, who their teachers are and how they will they'll be directed to a specific location where your teacher will meet you and your teacher will be escorting you to class. So we do have a system prepared for you so that you won't be lost on the first day of school. Um, no, there is no swimming. I am Mrs. Bragg, the sixth grade assistant principal. We do have some teachers on the chat that will be introducing themselves later. And I'm going to stop here with these particular questions. Please make sure that you visit uh, our Baldy website. You can view my video, Mrs. Ryan's video, and Ms. Cummings' video that will provide you with additional information about specific topics. And also, again, just continue to check the website to make sure that you are um, up to speed on all the things that um, we have coming up in the future. At this time, I'm going to turn the presentation over to Mrs. Ryan, one of our deans of students, who will be talking about policies and procedures. Mrs. Ryan? Yep. Hi, guys. I am one of the deans of students, along with Mr. Carr, who was unable to join us this morning. Basically, our role is to keep all 1,500 of you plus the staff safe. And the vast majority of our students are absolutely wonderful. I can't even say enough. Um, when people come to visit our building, whether it be from the district or the city or other parents, they are very impressed with the way the school is run and how smoothly everything goes. Um, with that being said, there are a few students every now and again who do make mistakes. I want to make sure that you are aware of the code of conduct. It is posted on Baldy's website. It is something that every child in the school district of Philadelphia, no matter what school you attend, um, is held to. There is a list of violations or infractions. The only thing that's a little bit different from elementary school to middle school is the severity of the consequences. In middle school, if you are unable to keep yourself, your classmates, and staff members safe, you will not attend Baldy Middle School. Every year we have about three students who do not finish out with us because they make choices, they put people in danger, you know, different things like that. So I wanna make sure that you are all aware of the expectations and when you get to Baldy, we certainly will be going over those expectations in more depth, but there's also, along with the Code of Conduct, a Baldy handbook that is more specific to our school in the video that is posted, I do go over some different things, such as uniform um, that is specific to Baldy. We have two different uniforms, depending on what day of the week it is. If you're assigned gym on that day, you come wearing your gym uniform, which is a gray top and black bottom. Baldy does sell our own gym uniform. However, you do not need to purchase it. I'm sure most of you already have something in your wardrobe that fits the you know, criteria. On a regular school day, khaki bottoms, navy blue collared shirt. The only hoodie that is allowed to be worn at Baldy Middle School is the specific 
quality middle school hoodie. If you were found to be wearing another hoodie or a jacket throughout the day, it will be taken and you will be issued detentions. We have lunch detentions, we have after school Friday detentions, we have Saturday detentions. We have removal from activities, which we use to plan um, for children and reward the children who are doing the correct things. Um, Ms. Bragg went over some of the activities that sixth graders do. Like she said, we have activities for individual classes or a group of classes or the entire sixth grade. At the end of each year, we actually take the whole school on a trip. Um, so there are a lot of ways that you all are rewarded for consistently doing what you were supposed to be doing and meeting our expectations. Um, on a daily basis, if you're caught doing something, you know, really nice or you volunteer without having to be asked, let's say to clean up the lunchroom tables, we reward students with body bucks, which you can then in turn um, turn in for small prizes or you can save up those body bucks for the larger prizes. Um, the air, we do have air conditioning. It does work better in some areas of the building. We're a very large building. Same with the heat. So you may be cold. You may not be able to purchase the body hoodie and that's okay. What you can do is wear any color long sleeve shirt under your navy blue collared shirt. That is also acceptable. If you wear a jacket or another hoodie to school, it is placed in your locker when you come in and it does not come out until it is time for you to leave. Otherwise, again, it will be confiscated. Cell phones, a lot of you are riding SEPTA for the first time. Some of you may be staying after school for a sport or an activity and you need to go get a hold of your parents or your parents need to get a hold of you. Your cell phone that you bring to school must be turned off and kept in your school bag or your locker. If you bring out your cell phone in the middle of the day or if it goes off and interrupts your teacher's lesson, it is going to be taken and held in the principal's office and your parent is going to be required to come up and get it and you will be given um, detentions, all right? So again, we know you have it, just make sure you are making the right choices, keeping it away and only using it when it's appropriate or if you have per permission from a staff member. Um, we do also like to have dress down days, usually they're held on Fridays. The, if you choose to participate, it is a dollar. The dollar is either donated to a chosen um, charity for that week, or most of the time it does go into the grade fund that is used to fund those rewards for you throughout the school year. Uh, we have a lot of sports, a lot of clubs. Those are all privileges to participate in. If you are not behaving, you will not be part of that club or that sport. You certainly will not be going out of the building representing Baldy Middle School if you cannot behave inside of the building. But again, the majority of our students have no problem. Um, a lot of you asked about registration. All but seven of you, no, I'm sorry, all but three of you actually will automatically be rolled over in the computer system. If you are one of those families that is affected, you will be contacted directly and given directions for enrollment. But again, there's nothing that the majority of you actually have to do. It will automatically be done in the computer system. So if you don't hear from us, you are enrolled. Um, the end of August, when it gets closer to school, you will be able to go on and see your schedule and what class you are in. Again, that won't be available till the end of August, probably the day or two before school actually does start. Um, I'm, trying, I'm just looking at my list. Someone said that they were moving. If you are moving, let's say to a suburb, what you do is you go to your new school with their required information, proving where you live and all that kind of stuff. And that school will actually contact Baldy Middle School, not Lesh. So again, if you're moving, go to your new school, find out what the requirement is, let them know you were coming from Baldy Middle School, and they will contact us and we will give them all the other documents that is needed. Do not have them contact Lesh because in August, Lesh will not have your information available. 
Wait, am I, can you guys hear me? Thank you, Mrs. Ryan. I really appreciate uh, your presentation. If you guys have any questions about Mrs. Ryan's presentation and the things she just discussed, please put them in the chat at this time. Oh. So if you have questions, got Mrs. Ryan. We got a huge thing, buses. Yes. So, okay. Most of you are going to be eligible for a trans pass. That is something that is determined by the school district of Philadelphia, not Baldy Middle School. In general, if you live 1.5 miles away, you will be eligible to receive a trans pass every week. The trans pass is valued at almost $30 every week. If you lose it, it's gone. We do not give you another one. The school district gives us one trans pass for every student that is on that list. So if you lose it between you and your parents, you're gonna have to figure out a way for you to get back and forth to school for the remainder of the week. Make sure there's a spot on the transfer pass to put your name. A lot of the times they are dropped. Most of the time they don't have names on it, but when they do, we actually do get it back to you. We've been very successful in that. Um, in order to figure out what bus for you to get on, if you go on Baldi's website, there's a link for bus routes. There's a couple different options for less students. Review the maps, figure out which bus stops closest to your house. And it's not gonna take you directly to your house, but it will take you within walking distance of your house. It will also give you the times in the morning that the buses will arrive. You need to make sure you are on that bus in order to get to school by 8:11, which is our official school time for sixth graders we do open the doors a couple minutes early just because it normally takes you a little bit longer to get to your lockers so we want to get you to your lockers and to your class by the start of school um, we have breakfast available every morning 7 45 doors are open you can come in it's free once you come in you will remain inside of the building until the bell does ring we also do have a morning fitness program that after the first week or two of school will be open to all students starting at 7 15 in the morning so those of you whose parents drive you on the way to work or you just want to you know participate in the club starting at 7 15 you can go you have to be in there by 7 45 um, but we do have different options a lot of kids also do like to stand outside but as you know weather sometimes it's raining sometimes it's cold kids want to come in, we have different options for you. Thank you, Mrs. Ryan. Could you um, speak to, let's see here, the uniform requirements one more time. If you could just describe what the uniforms look like for the gym day and for the non-gym days, please. And again, everything is on the video that is posted on Baldi's website on gym uniform days, gray top, black bottom whether that be shorts or sweatpants it's up to you depending on the weather um we always wear sneakers or some sort of flat shoe but on gym days it's a sneaker on a regular uniform day khaki bottoms pants shorts skirt you know of appropriate length navy blue collared shirt on top um sneakers flats boots what is not allowed would be flip-flops, slides, high heels. We've had kids show up in cleats. All of those things are unsafe and unacceptable. You will not be allowed to continue on your day wearing inappropriate footwear just because we have 1,500 students and it is, like I said, unsafe. So make sure you're always wearing sneakers, always on gym day, and on regular uniform days, sneakers or some sort of like boot or flat shoe. Thank you, Mrs. Ryan. Um, please make sure that you go back to our website, as Mrs. Ryan mentioned, to make sure that you are up to date on the most uh, current information for you as incoming sixth grade students. And also all of this information is listed on our website and in the videos that are posted for you. At this time, we're gonna move forward and hear from some of our illustrious sixth grade teachers. I'm so excited to have them on the call today. Um, and you will get the opportunity to ask them questions in the chat as well. Um, I wanna make sure that I have everyone, um, and if you could please just, you're gonna be speaking in class order. So I have Ms. McMenamin, Ms. Davis, Ms. McFadden, Ms. McGarrigal, Mrs. Shahar, Mrs. Ty, and Mrs. Contutis. If I missed anyone, I am so sorry, 
um, you can go after Ms. Contutis. I'm gonna ask you all to share um, your names, what subjects you teach, and one thing that you love about Baldy. Thank you guys. Hi everyone, I am Mrs. McMenamin. Of course I have to go first. No one ever wants to go <laughs> first, right? And I have to go first. I am a reading teacher at uh, Baldy Middle School. I've been teaching reading the sixth grade for close to 22 years and I love it. I absolutely love it and I absolutely love Baldy. Um, it is a great school to be at and you guys, we're gonna be, you're gonna be coming in there. It's a huge school, so many kids so many different areas of the school and i tell all my students all the time and it's the truth i you'll know the building better than i know the building within a couple of weeks of being there i'll be asking you where's that at and you'll be telling me where it is so even though it looks so big so overwhelming and like it's so much you're going to have it down in just a couple of weeks and you're all going to be okay we are super excited to have you come to Baldy. I love it there. Why do I love it there? Because it's an excellent school. We're one of the best in the city. We have some high expectation for you guys and every year you meet them and that makes us feel good. So I am so looking forward to meeting all of you in September. Please guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pass it along. Thank you. Talk about going first. Who could follow that, right? Okay. <laughs> Hi, I am Ms. Davis. I am a sixth grade math teacher. I love teaching math. I actually like English as well, but I love teaching math. I don't think I would have it any other way. Um, I'm really excited just to get to know you all. And like Ms. McMenamin said, I'm hoping that we'll be able to get together in the school, in the classrooms in September. Why do I love Baldy? I love Baldy because of the diversity, not just the diversity of your experiences and backgrounds and the way you think and the way you look, but just, I love your creativity. Everyone has something to bring and offer. I, all of our teachers love learning from you. So that's one thing that I love about Baldy. We all grow together. And so I'm excited to meet you all. If you find yourself in my classroom, you are going to find yourself snapping a lot. So go ahead and practice your snaps. Let me see your snaps. Let me see your snaps. Snaps to you all rising sixth graders. I look forward to meeting you all in the fall. And I'm Ms. McFadden. I teach science. Um, I teach six sections of science. So I get to know almost half of the sixth grade. Um, I enjoy teaching science. And the thing that I love about Baldy is just meeting a lot of different students. And I get to see you guys from sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, and I get to know almost half of the school. So it's a great experience. And I have a dog laying on me, so I'm sorry if he's snoring. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. This is Miguel. Perfect. Good morning, Lash. My name is Mrs. McGarrigle. I am a proud sixth grade ELA teacher at Baldy Middle School. Uh, you are going to love Baldy. It's an excellent school with wonderful students and terrific staff. And I look forward to seeing you all really soon. Take care. Good morning, Lash. I am Mrs. Shahar. I am a sixth grade social studies teacher. I teach like McFadden. I teach six different classes. And I'm excited about Baldy because we have a great, caring, wonderful sixth grade staff, sixth grade administrator, and you guys help make it awesome. Can't wait to see you in September, please. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mrs. Tai. I teach ELA and social studies. I'm very fortunate that I get to do two subjects. I'm very excited to meet all of you. Yes, hopefully hopefully in September, we will be back in the building. Um, there are so much about Baldy that I absolutely love. I've been at Baldy for 17 years now. So I guess that's a testament to the fact that I want to be there. And I know that once you get in the building, you definitely will wanna be there and stay there. And um, there's so much about Baldy students that I, adore the fact that you immediately are open to joining the family because once you're in Baldy, it is a one big family. Everyone is just so loving and kind to one another. It's really a, a major thing that keeps me coming back every day. And the other thing that I find to be a wonderful thing with Baldy students is that they love to learn. 
They love to take in as much knowledge as they can. And I'm excited to help them get to that point. I want to see them go out into the world and do wonderful things. So I hope you all have a wonderful summer and I look forward to seeing you in September. Ms. Contutis? Yes. Hi, my name is Mrs. Contutis. I am an ESOL teacher for sixth grade. And uh, Baldy is such an amazing place to be. We have students that speak over 30 languages. So we have students from all over the world. We have these amazing culture nights where we highlight different cultures throughout the year and you can bring your family. Um, and as Ms. Ty said, we are a family. We have the best teachers. We have the best students. We really support both our students and our families. And something that really stands out to me and I think makes us extra special is that we empower our students so they feel like they can change the world and we see it happening. We have students that come back um, from high school to visit us and college to visit us. And um, it's truly inspiring. So we are very excited to welcome you to Baldy and we cannot wait to meet all of you in person and get our year started. Thank you guys so much. So students and families, we have reading teachers, math teachers, science and social studies teachers and um, ESOL and, and an ESOL teacher on the call. So if you have any questions about what classes might look like or anything subject specific, uh, please enter those questions into the chat at this time so that we can have our teachers ask and answer any questions that you might have. If you have any questions for them, go ahead and put it in the chat. Anything? So I know there are some concerns about... Miss Bag, can I say hi too? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, hi, Mrs. Moyer. Sorry. Hi. hi. Yes, please. Hi. Sorry, I joined like halfway through. I right. um, just wanted to say hi and good morning to our <laughs> future, um, sixth grade students that are coming in. Um, my name is Mrs. Smoyer. I'm a math teacher, sixth grade math teacher at Baldy. And I just wanted to say hello and welcome you all to our wonderful school. Um, it's definitely the best school. Um, our students and teachers work really hard. We have um, great perseverance. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing you all in September. Thank you, Mrs. Moyer. Sorry about that again. No thank problem. you. Yeah, I joined. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I'm not really seeing any questions that are specific to our teachers. There are a few questions um, that are kind of off topic, but let's see. First, okay, so there is a question that I think is, is pertinent, and it is, will we have different teachers in all subjects? So we have 16 sections for sixth grade. 12 of those 16 sections will have a different teacher for math, for reading, for science, and for social studies. Four of those 16 sections will have one teacher for math and science and one teacher for reading and social studies. For example, like Mrs. Tai, who was on our phone call. Um, that's just determined by the section that you're put in. All of our students are assigned uh, sections through our system, but don't worry about not being able to figure out where you uh, need to go. Our teachers do a great job in making sure that you guys are equipped to uh, get to all of your classes and be successful in navigating your sixth grade year. Let me just check the chat one more time. Let's see. Yes. Okay. So it looks as if we have answered um, most of the questions that you have for our subject, um, for our teachers. Teachers, if you have something else that you need to do at this time, I know that um, our teachers are still engaging in instruction, just like your teachers are. So I thank you guys for coming. If you need to head out, definitely feel free to do so. And just thank you again for coming. If you want to stick around, you can, but I know some of you might need to go. So please do. And I thank you guys for joining at this time. Right now, we're going to move on to a presentation from our counselor, Mrs. Cummings. We're so lucky that we have a counselor per grade. And Mrs. Cummings, I'm, I am biased, I'll admit it, is the best counselor in the building. She is our sixth grade counselor. She is awesome. You will get to know her really well. And at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Cummings. Great. Thank you so much. Good morning, Lesh. I'm so excited for the opportunity to be your school counselor next year. 
just a side note, any parents on the call, nothing good happens at Lesh Playground once the kids are in middle school. So if they say, I'm just going to go to Lesh after school lets out, just say no. Otherwise, back on topic, I, I know Ms. Ryan talked about it and Ms. Bragg, it is very important that you guys go back and check out those videos because even though we're touching on topics today, they have a lot more detail and information that will help you be better prepared and feel more comfortable about starting middle school at Baldy. But just a couple highlights from the video is one, I know that you can both be nervous and excited about starting middle school, which completely makes sense. Um, we're all feeling that way. All sixth graders feel that way coming in, and you may be one that feels more excited than nervous, but there's many of us that also feel more nervous than excited. But once we get there, I promise we will come together as a team. We are there to help and support you. You will find it is a wonderful place to be, and we will get through it together, and you will love coming to school every day. Uh, another important topic is, I know we've all touched on this too, is that Baldy is a very big school, which can be scary, but at the same time, it's one of the things that makes it the best. It makes us have the opportunity to have so many sports and so many after school activities. Uh, it also opens the opportunity for you to find a group of friends that is the group of friends that you've been looking for. Somebody who has the same likes and dislikes as you, and um, clubs that you wanna join and just things that click and you can just be yourself and find people that you enjoy being around. So that's fantastic. The other part about it being so big is that it can be overwhelming when you first get there, when you're on the outside, but you will learn very quickly. And that in the first day, sixth grade comes in through one entrance. So you will be all, it still is a lot of kids coming in the same spot, but you come in together as a grade in the same entrance you go to your first class and your teachers for your first, your core classes are right next to each other. So you do have the freedom a little bit in the hallway to kind of walk and talk with your friends a little bit while you're switching classes, which is maybe different from your elementary school. You're getting a little bit more independent, but you still are moving as a class and you are right in the same area. So it's pretty much, I don't want to say impossible to get lost in that area, but you, you, I'm confident that you will figure it out. Plus, I am right there. We'll be out in the hallways. We will help guide you. It's nothing to be worried about. The electives will be in different parts of the building, but those will be, you will be walked by your teacher as a class the first couple weeks until you find where that class is so that you will feel comfortable going there by the time that the teacher stops walking you to that class. So then you will have the independence and the little bit of freedom to be responsible in the hallway and work to walk together with your friends to your next class, but you will always have somebody going in the same direction as you. So don't be worried about getting lost. And again, teachers will be out in the hallway. Everybody is kind, everybody's looking to help. The eighth graders, I know that some of you are nervous about being in the building with older students. Mrs. Ryan talked about this. We do have a very kind school. So overwhelmingly, the kids will remember when they were in sixth grade, they will be looking to go out of their way to help and support you. Um, but that being said, they are also in a, the eighth graders are kind of separate from you because they are on a different floor. So it's not like you will be worried about passing people in the hallway and having bigger kids around. You'll be moving as a sixth grade and the eighth grade will be kind of separate, but there'll be times that we come together as a school and you'll be able to experience how friendly and helpful they are. Um, I know that there are some questions and concerns about lockers. The lockers are not very big, so don't bring your whole life when you're moving in. I, you have your coat in the winter, you have your books, don't put anything extra. Don't leave like yesterday's lunch in there or milk or something because it will stink really bad. And then the kids will be like, oh my God, you're a stinky locker person. Don't, just don't bring it to begin with. Forget your, make sure you keep it nice and clean because the point is to be able to get there quickly, get your stuff out and move to your next class. So you don't want to be fumbling for things and going through old lunches or, or papers that you're just throwing in there, you learn to keep that spot clean. I did say in the video, which I think is a great suggestion, is to get your lock early so that you can practice it over the summer. So if you practice the combination, then you won't be worried 
about fumbling for it or forgetting the combination once you get to school. It'll just be something you're used to doing. So when you plan for success, it, you, success usually follows. So definitely do that. Um, I think the last thing that I want to make sure that I touch on is, and we've all of us have said this, and it's true, Baldy is a very kind school. So you will definitely be recognized for being kind and treating others with kindness and respect. As a whole, the whole school is like that. So if you're not doing those things, you're going to feel like people are not going to appreciate it. So don't even go in thinking anything different. Be yourself. Always choose kindness. Know that sometimes you are going to make mistakes and that is fine. We are we all make mistakes. That's how we grow and learn. And we will be there to help and support you through the whole thing. So just take this time. I know that it's getting a little bit difficult to stay inside, but you have this time with your family. Appreciate that time as much as you can now. And when we get back to school, we will be ready to start all safe and healthy and ready to learn. Oh, Ms. Bragg, you're still muted. I'm gonna throw it back to you. Mrs. Cummings, could you please talk about IDs quickly? Oh yes, I'm sorry. Absolutely. So your IDs, you will be getting an ID, a big middle schooler with a nice picture ID. The ID is a very important part of your school experience. You will be required to have that on you at all times. It's you're, you're getting older and you're getting responsibility. You're going to have to do that when you get to high school. And when you're an adult, you have to do the same thing. So we're starting out that right away in sixth grade. You won't have it the first maybe week or so because it will take us a little bit of time. We will call you down to the office. We will take your picture. We will print your ID out. Make sure you have a nice little holder with a lanyard. Mrs. Ryan talked about the trans passes. Kids usually keep their ID and their trans passes together because they are both important things that um, have not only an importance to your day, but also a monetary value. If you lose your trans pass, like Mrs. Ryan said, that's not something that's being able to be replaced for that week because we only get one per student who's allotted for it from the district. Your ID, you will have to have every morning when you come in, you will swipe it, you will touch it to the screen. I'll be standing there with you so we will get the whole process going and you'll feel comfortable with it by the time um, a couple weeks go by, but you have it ready off your neck. You're going to tap it in so that will help us verify your attendance for the day. So it's very important that you do it every day. If you forget it for a day, which is bound to happen at some point, you wanna make sure that it doesn't happen often. If it happens once or twice, okay. But when you don't have your ID for the day, you have to manually put in your numbers for your lunch, the same numbers that you have for your lunch into the computer which will allow us to verify that you are there for the day for the attendance, but it will be charging you $1 every time you forget your ID. Part of that is to make sure that you're learning the responsibility of having things that are important for your day, like your ID with you, um, but that money does also go back into our school funds, which allows us to do the activities that we do as a sixth grade class, um, but you don't wanna be the main contributor to that. So make sure you have your ID every day. If you lose it and you know you lost it on that day, come right to every day at 2.45, you can come to where my office is and we will show you where all of that is in the yellow hub and I can reprint you a new ID. That ID will cost you $5. You don't need to have it on that day, but you will get billed for it. Um, that's just to make sure that the, the money that it costs to print an ID and have all of that kind of stuff, it does take money. So we have to make sure we have those funds for that. But it's also, again, you need the responsibility. Try not to lose your ID, have it every day, um, 245 if you do lose it. And again, we'll go all over this information. If uh, going back to trans passes, I don't know if you said this, Mrs. Ryan, but every day at 230, like we will hand out the trans passes to you during the week. If you are absent on the day that we, hand it out the next day that you come back at 2.30 every day, Mrs. Stravakis, another uh, counselor for the eighth grade, will be in the commons area, which again, we will show you all this and we will walk you through all that, but she will be there every day 
at 2.30. So if you missed getting your trans pass, you will be able to get it on that day. It's not like you miss it for the full week. Thank you so much, Mrs. Cummings. Um, so we do have some other uh, general questions that it seems as if you, um, you guys might be able to get answered if you watch the videos. Um, Mrs. Ty, are you still around? Ms. Davis, there are some questions about students walking in line to class, to and from class. Would either of you be able to speak to what it's like walking in the halls and some of the expectations for hallway behavior? Ty, I think you're muted. Oh, there, finally. Um, Mrs. Ty, um, walking in the hallways, um, because we are such a large school and we have so many sixth grade students, um, sometimes you might feel overwhelmed. But the way we usually do it, we have a certain structure in which we have you follow you walk one way to get to classes and you usually would stay to the right of the hallway so we'll have an area going one way and then the other students going the other way it's almost like a highway if you would look at that we unfortunately do have students who like to play around and think it could be a playground and they go running through the hallways that is how someone gets hurt and we really really hope that you upon coming to baldy you just get that in your in your mind that you know what i'm walking to class and that's what i'm doing i'm not running so um i i you know i think i answered that um yep. to to the best of my ability with that that was perfect and thank you because i definitely put you on the spot thank you so much <laughs> um so we are closing in on 11 o'clock and at this time, um, I'm going to ask Mrs. Ryan or Mrs. Cummings if you have any additional things that you'd like to share with our students. If not, we are going to start um, signing off of the phone call. All good? Everybody good? Okay, please make sure that you continue to visit Baldi's website. That is where you will get the most up-to-date information. Also, there will be a recording of this particular chat up uh, labeled for you. If not this evening, definitely by tomorrow. So you can let your friends know if they miss the chat, they can um, obviously view the video. There will also be an opportunity for you to continue to upload questions. And we'll be posting additional videos as the year goes on, like I said before, to make sure that you are prepared for your sixth grade year. Um, someone did ask, you know, what if school doesn't start in September? And right now, we don't have an answer for that. We are planning to see you in September. And if anything changes, we will be making adjustments accordingly. And we will make sure that your parents are notified of any upcoming um, deadlines or pieces of information that they might need to have as we continue to move with the changes of this academic year and looking forward to next year. So I thank you all for coming. And at this time, you guys can begin to sign out. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you for having Bye. Us. Bye. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Come on, really. Bye, bye. Charlie. Who's face Bye. Is it Alaya? Bye. 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 Hala, see ya. Ivan, Fariza, Davlet John. See you guys. Hanin, bye bye. Bye, guys. Thank you. Tristan, Elizabeth, Thomas. See you guys. Bye. Is that everyone? Yep. All right, let me stop recording. <clears throat> okay.